So I got a piece of birch. Very, very pithy. I hope it's worth even doing. Try to find the center. I don't have a circle jig or circle cut. Eight, eight inches across, so halfway would be four. There's a four inch mark. Just shy of nine, I'm gonna say four and a half. Be right there. Looks like that's the center on that side. Starting off with a three-quarter inch uh, Carter and Son bowl gouge. I got a lot of mushrooms. This thing's really funky. Got my air shield on, so uh, I won't be able to talk while I'm doing that. And uh, I want to try to protect my lungs as best as possible. So this is the roughing out section that just means a lot of wood needs to be removed to get to basic round and then kind of work on the shape. So if you're still here hanging on, I have a question. Uh, I'd like to get uh, as many people who would answer this question's opinion. Do you generally skip through sections like this when you're watching these type of videos? I'm assuming most of you are interested in wood turning and that's why you're here. What is it you're looking for? What is it you wanna see? And I'm sure everybody might have a different opinion on that, uh, just to help me out and get me thinking in the right direction. So I usually take about every second or third uh, cut and then show what the wood looks like after that and see how much more needs to be removed. So just if you could give me some insights on what you're thinking, I really appreciate it. Thank you. To take a piece off for a possible lid. We'll see how that goes. So I have this piece uh, bounded between centers. Uh, no chuck on there at the moment. I'll usually put a faceplate on it, but recently I've been trying something a little different. So I mounted it between centers, then I cut a tenon on it, flipped it around, and I'm going to add a glue on uh, a block to uh, add a tenon to it afterwards my first try at that so let's hope it goes well Cut a new tenon on here after that dries and see if it flies off or not. So this piece of uh, wood was left over from a cherry bowl I made a couple of weeks earlier. And after cutting this punky uh, spalted wood, that cherry was as hard as stone compared to that stuff. I had forgotten how hard it was, but uh, it works really good. I uh, managed to get that glued on, flip it around, and all turns out fine. My first trial at that. I'm going to take a, a piece off the top, 
And I don't know if I got this on video or not, but I glued a tenon on the back of that, shaped it up to fit. So that's hot melt glue on there. I've never done that before. That comes from Jim at Sprague Wood Turning or Sprague Wood Turning. Let's hope that works. So I'm gonna cut this off and it'll be held on by the glue. So I decided to cut off a little piece. I'm going to use that later for a lid. I wanted to keep the same wood on the same piece and maybe that'll match up a little bit lit, uh, when I put the lid on it. As I've mentioned a few times, this wood is really punky and I was doing a lot of scraping with different tools and every time I stopped it, I was realizing how bad uh, that uh, tear out was. It was just terrible. I thought, well, maybe later after it dries, I can sand it a little bit. But I just kept shaping and shaping and thought, well, at a future point, uh, I would do some sort of uh, sanding or something to clean up that uh, tear out. Um, as I kept going here, if I decided to do a little, I uh, have a real small, like 3 8, three eight uh, uh, spindle gouge and did some uh, cuts on it. And I realized that was cleaning up that uh, tear out really, really nicely. And it was so soft, it was easy to make those cuts. So uh, I cleaned up a lot of the tear outs with uh, just doing some nice uh, cuts on it with either a small bowl gouge or in this case I was using the spindle gouge and it worked out just fine. So right here, I am trying to restart the uh, lathe. I had turned it off doing some sanding and was switching grits and went to turn it back on only to find it would not start. And that was a scary ordeal. I was thinking new motor, uh, I fried something inside, bad switches. I actually took the switch box off. I don't have it on video, it was just burning dead air there. So I took it off, took a look around, jimmied a few things, see if anything was going on, put it back on, and it started working. I was very happy to find out that it got going again. I was in the middle of sanding with some Abernet here, giving it a shot for the first time, and I was switching it uh, forward in reverse, and I thought that might have been the problem, but for whatever reason, it got going, and I was a happy guy that it did. going to seal it up with something right now some, some shellac on there kind of slow down the drying process and um, also give us a chance to see the color so here is a spalted birch uh, I have a four foot piece or so sitting out there on the ground. I put it out a lot, quite a while back and uh, I started getting worried when I saw mushrooms growing all over that trunk. So I went and cut a piece off and cut a couple other pieces, set them aside. Hopefully I'll start drying a little bit. But the color is fantastic. The wood is very punky um, and it's not dry. I threw some alcohol in there and killed all the mushrooms. It's this thing had turned completely white inside with a fungus growing. But uh, I wanna let that dry out and to finish it, I have a piece that I hope will be a lid for it. 
It too uh, is very punky. Uh, I want to stabilize it, maybe uh, uh, cactus juice or something to get these get this stuff to harden up. But I've got it about another inch thick. The outside doesn't seem to be warping or cracking at this time. It's been been almost a week, and uh, no cracks as of yet. Uh, maybe it's just too punky to crack. But uh, I want to take it more out of the inside when when it's dry. And then I want to stabilize it. I want to completely saturate it with uh, cax juice or uh, thinned out epoxy and put it in the vacuum uh, chamber and just kind of fill it up with some something to stabilize it. But the color is awesome. That's what I'm looking forward to and possibly a lid to go on top. That's not my specialty, but I am working on it. So thanks for watching. I appreciate you taking the time. And when it's dry, we'll get back and finish it up. Thank you.